I was a left guard, so I know how to use a whistle, by the way, just so you know. So you hear that? Woo! Okay, take the whistle away. There you go. Ha! <laughs> my name is George Motes, and hamburgers are my thing. But you know that already. You know what else is my thing? Topping speed round, let's do this! Yee We've done a lot of toppings rounds. You remember any of them? The Fluff Screamer, Woo! the Cashew Burger, Goober Burger. We did the Olive Burger from Michigan, but just when you thought, there's no way George can come up with more of these things, I'm not coming up with these things, okay? I am just a steward to history. I'm here to give you hamburger history. That's my job. And I'm telling you right now, from what I know, it's up in here, it's a lot more burger information. I could do this toppings round forever! Today we're gonna do three regional burgers and one regional drink. The Baronet's Burger from PJ Clark's in New York City, the Euro Burger from Western Steak Burger in San Diego, the Thurman Burger from Thurman Cafe in Columbus, Ohio, and finally, the Witch Doctor, a drink from Whataburger in North Carolina. Woo-hoo! Let's do this! Burger number one, the Bernays Burger from PJ Clark's in New York City. PJ Clark's is one of the most iconic and one of the oldest bars in New York City. It opened in 1884. The burger's been on the menu for probably about 100 years, actually. It's also a big hangout for stars. Frank Sinatra had his own table there, table number 20. The Bernays Burger is an off-menu item. Shh. See, now I'm telling you secrets. See this, how this works? I'm telling you secrets. Things you didn't know that now you do know. You can sit at table 20, Frank Sinatra's table, and get a Baronet's burger, which is off the menu. Whoa, you are living, man, you are living. Now the Baronet's burger is pretty simple. It's nothing more than fresh ground beef that has been griddled and put onto a toasted bun with a big dollop of beautiful homemade Baronet's sauce. Baronet's is a tarragon and shallot infused vinegar mixed with butter and egg yolks. And it's fantastic. Toasted bun, we gotta go fast. PJ Clark's uses classic white squishy bun. I'm gonna use my favorite Martin's potato roll. Okay, I've got a three ounce ball of meat. It's probably pretty accurate to what they would do. I want it a little thicker. I want to retain those juices so it tastes like a steak. Look at that, whoa, whoa. look at that. Damn, that's pretty good. Okay. A little bit of salt on there. Don't get saucy with me, Bernays. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's rich. Flipping. Oh, look at that. Like butter. Coming off. Look at that. In this case, the bun is literally just the vehicle to get the beef and the Baronets into my face. Here we go. <laughs> mm. Oh, God. Oh, God, look at that. That's it. On top we go. The Baronets burger from PJ Clark's in New York City with a pickle on the side. Okay. It's very rich. Mm, I can dip it in there like a butter burger. See that? Oh. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Mm. It really does taste like steak on a bun. <laughs> on to the next! Burger number two! Oh, fuck. <laughs> burger number two! The Euro Burger from Western Steak Burger. It's not there anymore. Don't look for it. Unfortunately, Western Steak Burger was one of my all-time favorite spots to go for this burger. It's a burger with gyro meat or gyro meat on top of the burger. I know you're thinking, well, duh, of course that's gonna taste good. <laughs> oh. It's nothing more than lamb and beef that has been processed. And they add spices like garlic, lots of oregano. Now imagine that on a burger. Whoa, <laughs> I know. What I wanna do though is bring back the legacy of Western Steak Burger by putting gyro meat on a burger, but instead of using traditional burger toppings like they would have at Western Steak Burger, I'm gonna use a white sauce similar to what they put on a gyro. The white sauce I'm using though is from another one of my favorite Greek fast food places called Gyro 2 in New York. It's also closed. They invented this unbelievably sweet and tangy addictive sauce which went on all their gyros and everyone loved it. I'm gonna put this sauce on this burger. Huh. Ooh, mm -hmm. that and that on a burger. Woo! The burgers at Western Steak Burger were big. They're about a half a pound. It wasn't really hot. <laughs> Jeez. I did toasted bun also. Uh, toasting a bun. Okay, toasted. Hi. Yeah, fuck up. I'm gonna try to build this thing the way they would have done a Euro at Gyro 2 in New York City. 
which would mean the beef would have to go on the bottom. And on top of that, a hot wad of glorious gyro meat. I'm gonna start with some lettuce. They would take these sort of half moons of tomato and some raw onion. And then on top of that, of course, the sauce. A little shake of paprika, because that's what they would have done at Gyro 2. Keeping it all together with the top of the bun. This is a burger to summon the Greek gods. This is the perfect Gyro 2 Western steak burger. I just made that up. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. oh my god. What? Oh my god? It's perfect. It's perfect. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. I'm in my happy place right now. Well, we gotta go. We gotta move, man. Burger number three. Let's do this. I'm oh, sorry, that was stupid. Oh, we went right in the garbage? Oh, fuck me. Hang on a second. No, oh God, oh, Jesus. Burger number three. This burger is the Thurman burger and it weighs in at well over a pound and a half of ingredients. The Suclasia family opened Thurman Cafe over 70 years ago in the quaint little section of Columbus known as German Village and it's still owned by the same family. Over 70 years later, that has got staying power, man. And the burger they come for is the Thurman burger. Follow me here. The ingredients, a three quarter pound patty of beef, Shredded lettuce, tomatoes, grilled onions, sauteed mushrooms, pickled jalapenos, mayonnaise, and <laughs> as if that weren't enough, how about a half a pound of sliced ham? And to top it all off, melted American and mozzarella cheese on a big ass toasted bun. Woo! <laughs> it's a big burger. It's a very big burger, people. Some salt on that. It's a big ass bun for a big ass burger. The ham, we got a half a pound of ham here. Let's get that heated up over there. We've got some grilled onions here. Grilled onions, also gonna kinda warm those up. Hang on. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Oh, this has gotta get out of here too. Ooh, perfect. Stand back. We're making a mess today, aren't we? <laughs> Shit, sorry. Before we pull the patty off, we are going to dope the bun because what they do there. Mayo's on the bottom, actually. Slice of tomato, some lettuce, pickles down here also, pickled jalapenos, sauteed mushrooms, some grilled onions. Getting big! A lot going on here. On top of that goes our finished big ass burger patty. On top of that goes our ham. On top of that goes a slice of mozzarella cheese and a slice of American cheese. Now it's not melted, we need to melt this. So I'm gonna hand this off to my trusty assistant and she is going to melt the cheese. Yes. It's very hot. Put it down. Is it that hot? Oh shit, that's hot. <laughs> Damn it. Oh yeah, okay. Ha ha hot. Melty. Yummy. That's fucking hot. Our crowning glory. Oh shit. Oh, fuck, that's so fucking hot. Now, a pro tip a friend of mine in Ohio taught me was you squish it down and then you flip it upside down. Because right now the bottom of the bun is completely destroyed. So I will press it down. It's not really going anywhere. <laughs> nice tip. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to get this thing in my face somehow by going upside down. Fuck, that's hot. Fuck yeah, now oh, it's hot. Hot plate. Mmm. 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 Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this. This is a great burger. Topping speed round number four. The last in the burger toppings round. It's not a topping, it's not a burger, it's a drink. I want a drink. Don't you want a drink? This is a weird one, but stay with me here. Okay, this totally works. The Witch Doctor. The Witch Doctor is a very special drink from a very special place. A burger chain in North Carolina called Whataburger. Not, not, not that Whataburger from Texas. This is the North Carolina Whataburger chain. It's been on the menu for over 60 years, so it, it must be okay, right? It is! It's fantastic. Recently, I did a swing through North Carolina on a burger road trip, and I posted a picture of the witch doctor, and there were so many questions. So many questions. I'm here to answer those questions. Number one, what the fuck is a witch doctor? So if you've ever gone around the world with a self-serve soda fountain, 
which is when you take you know a little bit from every soda in the fountain and put it in the same cup, you hoo then you know what I'm talking about. You've been there before. In this case, we're gonna go around the world in a typical North Carolina soda fountain, which would include fun things like sun drop and cherry lemon sun drop. This has been Greeked out. More Greeks. Um, Pepsi, <laughs> the blue can, and Dr. Pepper. And most importantly, North Carolina's very own cheer wine. All these things go in there, including, you ready for this one? A little bit of pickle juice, dill pickles, and a lemon wedge. Whoa! You ready? So first, ice cubes in a cup. Okay, a little bit of each, right? A little splash of that. Going around the world, going around the world. A little squeeze of lemon, a little splash of pickle juice, and then lots of pickles. Ah, I feel like a North Carolina native right now. That hit the spot. Right there. Sweet, salty, savory. It's yum. It is really actually so refreshing. I'll see you next time on Burger Scholar Sessions when I make you even hungrier. Let's get hungry. Well, <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I think he's gonna blow. <laughs> sorry. Hey, thanks for watching Burger Scholar Sessions. You should like and subscribe to this channel, but also get more episodes up here. Somewhere in here. Right there? Yeah. Watch more episodes right here.